that was one heck of a storm a couple of hours ago, and I basically couldn't fall back asleep once all that went on. So I'm just up having coffee, and then it's onwards towards Montgomery. Okay, onwards to Montgomery before this turns into Matt versus the tornadoes. <laughs> you know, on the plus side, the prospect of severe weather does liven up the dull roadwalk a bit. And if you're wondering how today could get even more complicated, other than the weather, I seem to be suffering from a bit of intestinal distress. I'm just uh, lucky it hit while there was still woods on the side of the road versus being more urban. like there's my friend Ed again. Okay, now the big road into Montgomery, but first, gas station. Okay, so it looks like I got hotel options in six miles or ten miles. And while it looks kind of threatening out here, the forecast says that the worst of it isn't going to hit until, you know, maybe 7 or 8 p.m. Let's see how far I get. Okay, this is me never being happy. I've been doing 20 some miles a day and feeling kind of beat up, but the moment I need to slow down, that also kind of sticks in my craw. Anyway, I think I'm gonna turn off here and aim for a hotel by the Montgomery Airport. Jen is flying in on Saturday. So I may just take a zero down here and then we can both hike out from the airport together. You know, it's kind of a bummer to be heading for the hotel here because I had uh, quite the tailwind going, going into the uh, road. Okay, seems like the worst of the weather did not hit this area. It was mostly just rain and wind from what I saw and not that bad compared with the past storms even. Uh, regardless, I'm going to end up zeroing here. Jen is flying in tomorrow, so I'm gonna wake up, start hiking, and she's gonna join me along the way. Okay, it is Saturday, March 27th, and if you've been following along, you know what that means. I become a non-solo hiker for a week now. Jen is flying into the Montgomery Airport. Uh, her flight's delayed just a little bit. Uh, I took a zero yesterday just to give my feet a rest. You can see I'm kind of limping because my feet are complaining about some, you know, a 1,400 mile thing. I don't know. Uh, really looking forward to seeing her. I'm just going to mosey up the road a little bit, wait for her at a convenient spot. She's going to get off the plane, shoulder her pack, and we're going to hike to the north side of Montgomery tonight, get a hotel. And even better, you know, I've started looking at the maps and for up ahead. I don't have that far to go until I'm on the Pinhoti. Really looking forward to getting kind of more wildernessy here again. Fortunately, that big storm that blew through seemed to spare this area. Sounds like there were a lot of tornadoes and uh, rough weather further north, but here it was just a little rain and some wind. Still, it was nice to be in a hotel and not have to worry about, you know, my tent poles breaking in super strong gusts. Part of me really misses the cloudy overcast weather because, yeah, that was warm. Basically, I'm just never happy no matter what's going on out here. <laughs> Hey, Dollar General Distribution Facility. Maybe this is where they've been hiding all the hiker wine the last month or so. One of the things this trip has really made me appreciate is that if you don't have a vehicle or a hotel or a home, it is actually pretty hard to find places to just exist for a while around town. Yay! Woo! Not a solo hiker anymore. The joys of urban walking. Are we having fun yet? Yes! Woo! Because I know people who are paranoid. Just here with our water stop. And we continue our tour of lovely downtown Montgomery. She obviously hasn't been here enough. She's still having fun with this part. 
Not to be confused with that other copycat White House. We seem to have gotten to the slightly nicer neighborhood here. Okay, after Jen's lovely first day in the wilderness of Southern Montgomery, we have now come across to Northern Montgomery and we are looking for a campsite right below those golden arches over there. Having fun, Blondie? Pretty good first day in Alabama. Uh, hey, I was saving that. My flavor saver. And Jen's first dining experience in Alabama for dinner was at the Waffle House where she found out that they give you really funny looks if you ask for a veggie burger. And here's Jen, ready to absolutely crush 20 plus miles of road walk. Since Jen uh, was flying out anyway, I had her swap a couple of things out for me. New shirt, since mine was getting pretty threadbare on the back, it had actually worn through in a bunch of places. New shorts, even brighter orange, that actually fit me and aren't a size too big. New battery, I'm hoping that this is going to be, uh, it's, it's going to last a little longer. I think mine's just been discharged too many times. And the sexiest thing you can come across on trail, new socks. And because mine got killed in Bradwell Bay, new hiking poles. I finally have carbon fiber ones again because I don't like the aluminums. And in addition, I'm just going to take the opportunity to swap out stuff like the op sack and my liner bag. So this section, we've basically been going by a lot of stores and uh, gas stations and whatnot. So we're not carrying much in the way of snack food during the day. I've got a few bars and whatnot. Uh, we're mostly just carrying dinners because these I can't always find at gas stations or whatnot. And coffee. Lots of coffee. So guess what we're eating for the next week? <laughs> so I have a sneaking suspicion that some of my current foot pain woes might be because my shoes are about done. You see right there where it's so flat and worn down, that's where I'm getting pain. So I think it's probably time to swap out the old shoes again. So interesting hotel quirk. Uh, this is a Quality Inn, which is the same as Comfort Suites, and of all the various hotels I've been in in Florida, this chain has the highest speed internet. Normally, hotel Wi-Fi is so slow I don't even bother. I can get better speech just using the cellular connection. Here, I just uploaded a 40-minute video to YouTube in four minutes, which is damn fast. So I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to rain on us today. Yay, you're getting the full experience. <laughs> The joys of the Alabama Roadwalk. And there is the Alabama Roadwalk blaze, showing that we are totally on trail. A little on the cozy side with heavy traffic. Blondie, stop having a resting bitch face back there. Oh wait, resting brunch face. And now here comes the rain. So despite Jen back there putting her things in her pack to protect him from the rain, it has not stopped the rain. Uh-oh, and I said the magic word. Now it's coming in harder. Oh, at least it's coming in sideways. That's nice. Okay, well, this got really bad really quick. I got soaked before I could even get my rain jacket on. Slight chance of rain. Thank you, dark sky. This is why you never trust the forecast out here. And now my new socks are wet. Woo! And here we are planning how to get Matt new shoes. Okay, so we actually managed to find a butane fuel canister on the shelf at a Walmart. That is the first one I have seen in the last three months. Uh, and the rain's died off a little bit, though the forecast says it's going to be off and on for the rest of the day. We're trying to get through town and we don't really have an ideal solution for where to camp tonight. so. We might have to get creative. It'd be nice if the sun had come out and dry us off for a little while because we got soaked. The rain came on so quick. We were scrambling to get our rain gear on and just got doused head to toe. <laughs> Good time. Hmm, I think they dropped something. So we officially went back past the Swayback campground. It didn't look ideal. We didn't, weren't sure if it even had a bathroom. So now we're going to have to stealth tonight. There is a bridge further on. This is the, at 157. You know, it's a little close to the road, but you see all those flat areas? 
There's no fence. There's no no trespassing sign. Pretty good other than it's close to the water, but you can't really get away from that. But unfortunately, it's a little early to stop. Blondie's not going to let me stop. Don't walk out into the road and get my phone run over. So the only thing better than finding a Dollar General with hiker wine is finding a gas station with Hunt's Brother pizza signs. Because <laughs> then I can get actual, like, hot food to go. Okay. Wow, you're short. You're messing up my video. Okay. So here we are from way down here. And <laughs> that uh, gas station had pizza, so we got a quick snack. Jen, being the alky she is, insisted I get a bottle of wine. And now we are trying to find a place to camp if Jen doesn't lose her hat because she didn't listen to me and get a ball cap. Okay, so if you are finding this later in the police evidence locker, uh, the person who killed us is named Travis and has a gray truck. <laughs> She's the, oh God. Don't put that on the video, <laughs> he was a nice guy. We think, you never know. Okay, so we had one of those encounters that's probably above board. This guy stopped, wanted to talk to us recognized, us, recognized us as hikers, and he says he has a place next to his storage lockers where we can stay. No word if there are manacles and radiators involved, but we shall see. They say Ted Bundy was a very nice guy. <laughs> he didn't make faces like that. <laughs> if he made faces like that, then nobody would have gone into his basement and taken a nap on his radiator, would they, Blondie? <laughs> okay, so before we met our new friend and hopefully not murder, this was where we'd been told there was likely a place to stay. I'm guessing based on the description, it was down on that side. They said they went on the left and there was a house across the street. Huh. Granted, the water's probably a little higher. Everything seems to be flooded here, so maybe some of those nice sites are just under swamp now. Okay, we're waiting to see where our new friend sticks us. <laughs> and here we are out back at our new friend, Big Joe and Travis, right by the lake that we were gonna stay under a bridge, but it turned out that site wasn't that good. So now we made new friends and we're camping in their backyard. We got offered the basement, but Jen is just like, no, I want to camp outside, right? This is pretty nice out here by the lake. <laughs> you, got, you got that phone number on your phone? Your number? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> you get somebody to bother you, call me. <laughs> the shit's going down, buddy. <laughs> okay.